Uh, now, when I, I recall sort of reading a book um, in the early 80s mm. called Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain by Betty Edwards. Yes. And I, I think it sort of helped me um, draw a bit better. But I do recall that it had um, lists of, um, you know, what the left hemisphere does and what the right hemisphere does. You know, so the, the left hemisphere is logical, the right's imaginative, possibly the left is masculine, the right is feminine. I, I can't, really, I might be sort of doing, doing her a disservice. Um, but, it, you know, just have these very sort of stringent lists of what the hemispheres do. But your, your, <laughs> your take on that is extremely different, isn't it? It's very different. It is. It has almost nothing in common with all the things that people thought they knew. Um, and the first hurdle I have to get over in reaching an audience is that, first of all, they think they know all this, and secondly, they think it's all been rubbished. And in a way, they're right in that the, the popular mythology about the hemispheres has turned out not to be correct. And you find it everywhere on the internet and in management seminars where quite, as you say, the right hemisphere is perceived as, you know, a little bit airy-fairy and pink and fluffy, whereas the left hemisphere is solid, down to earth, at least rational, and, I mean, we depend on it in that way. Um, you know, spoiler alert, the left hemisphere is actually much less reasonable and much less reliable than the right hemisphere, in fact. And they both take part in language, they both take part in reasoning, they both take part in processing visual spatial information, and they both take part in the experience of emotion. Yeah. So all of that is wrong. So that, 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 as long as people will clear their minds of all that, then we can begin from scratch. And, yeah. and that's what I needed to do in this book.